survival depends on the choices you make. We have to move, let's go. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Run, damn it! Run! <laughs> This is House of Ashes, and this game is like a horror kind of like you go back in time, you go back to today, present time, and there's like some horrific evil going on. Let's get straight into it, you guys can see it. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Horsia 8.7. Every choice has a consequence. Is it not? Some decisions save lives, others. lead to death sudden death a cat 2031 bc Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift us girls from our land. General Bellatrix, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. Ooh! The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. Spared him, huh? You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No, no luck for these dogs. Not lucky today, buddy, huh? General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her! My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. Oh!
Well, 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 well. Ooh, she got slain. Off with her head, huh? Oh, that's a good move. It looks like Dao Siem from Street Fighter. Yoga Flame! Yoga Fire! Look at this guy. Damn. What was that? What's he gonna do? Always gonna go after the Emperor, huh? Oh no, someone already beat him to it. Goodness, here we go. What is out there? What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. 
your home. The king sacked the temple at Nippur. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. They're about to get dead. This they better get out of there. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. Ready. Run, damn it! Run! Go! This guy's waiting for. Wasn't that where those beasts were at earlier? Yeah. Oh. Gotta press that. Got it. Guardian, scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. I don't think it's a rodent. For nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Oh! A bug? Find a secret exit. Exit the catacombs. Mm, try over here. Here. Help me with this. Safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy. Is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get it, boys. You got to work together. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? What's that? Ooh, that looks like something out of Diablo. That looks like something out of Exorcist. Look at that. Oh, get through this door. Over here. Ah, is this this music is creepy. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. That huh? run. 
Run, damn it! Go! What a creature. What is it? There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Fight it. We have to fight it, buddy. We have to fight it. Let's go. Come on! the opening to be honest with you guys. depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Ooh. Will you find the path to salvation? No idea, buddy. Be lost in the darkness. Hmm. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is 
filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Fort Payne. Mmm. Jason Kolchak, First Lieutenant. Colonel, good trip. Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel, USAF. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. You should read this. Can you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant. Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? There you go. Let's get some intel, yeah? That was this. Really? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? What was she doing, dude? Fornicating with a sergeant? That's not good. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I'll I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. I know he'd be with you. I'll be uh, in trouble, buddy. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Yeah, for real. Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Messed up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. We should put this on ice. On ice? Just like that? So what, we just, we just stop? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. I mean, my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just... We just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, ma'am. Say no more. I get it. Stupid. Shit.
So that's Ashley Tisdale, huh? The actor. Hmm. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> got the CIA, we've got the Army, the Marines, the oh, okay. CIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. See you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, this here would let you watch me get my swell. You wanna spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. What should you point a fucking weapon, dude? Jesus. So Flags the shit out thing? of us. <laughs> Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Is he combat ready? Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. Shit me, right? Crap, it's not shit me. What idiot? Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you. When the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. Mm hmm. Angry. <laughs> Storyline's alright. Sure. For a game? I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. It's funny. She's gone up in the world. It's nice. <sighs> Get you shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. What the fuck is she saying, dude? Step on my foot. That's the way some of these fucking women speak in this game. It's unreal. Colonel King. Mr. 
This is King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. This is my team now. What are you talking this? about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Ouch. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, Ooh. of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. Well, I didn't pull out so fast. Could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Boom! Right to you. Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Hell yeah! Come on! Sounds good to me. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Yeah, it would it be? Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. I'm behind a Is desk. I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. 
Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it? Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. This is getting cheesy. Look, Eric. And cringy. We'll talk. When we have time. Oh my goodness, please. Not here. Give me no, a break. You it's... You're still wearing your wedding ring. The gag. Alright, come on, man. Hey. This lovey dovey shit need to stop. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? There you go. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Wait for the download to speak to the team, inspect the briefing room. You talk to this punk over here. Change our attitude. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Tell me, Corporal, are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Please. I'm Force Recon. I've trained in high altitude, low opening parachute jumps. Hostile conditions that would make most men wake up screaming for their mama. You paint quite the picture. I hope you're more than just mouth, Marine. Yeah, for real. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost? Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Of course you would. some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're going to clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Talk to these dudes over here. Or not? Inspect the map again. UK command, US command. Polish command under provisional Iraqi control. That's cool. These guys doing playing Call of Duty. Mm. Alright. 
diamond right here. Ooh, 40 mic mics. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Gotta wait for some, uh... So, so far, I like the graphics, I like the gameplay, I like the sound, I like the storyline. This has a lot of potential. I think this game is going to be good. I think if you guys are going to try this game, get the demo, um, which I've got, and I'm trying it out right now. But yeah, so far, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I like how you can choose decisions, and they have consequences, and, you know, they have rewards, and, and benefits, or they have punishments, and... I just think it's cool, man. It's really cool. Organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces, US, UK, and Australia. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information to individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. <gasps> Organize and redirect war operations, survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq. Ooh, the survey group reports direct to Kentcom and the director of Central Intelligence, CIA. Finding Findings in support of Operations Iraqi Freedom, OIF, if they're published quarterly from 6 1 2003. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Hell yeah! What? What? You wanna ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it actually. Guy's a corn cob off his ass. We're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. Boom! All right. So that was the uh, the intro there. I thought it was pretty good, pretty decent. If you guys like the graphics, you like the information you just saw, you guys like that, let me know in the comments. Also, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed some of it. And let me know if you've actually gonna if you're gonna purchase this game. Let me know if you're gonna get this game. I'm considering getting it. I feel like it's pretty good. You guys let me know. Gamer. Remember to subscribe right here.